I'm Ro Lee from Eco Installer. We made the switch from um, traditional heating to renewable heating three years ago. We put our engineers on a, a training course um, so that we could then get the government's micro generation certificate, MCS for, for biomass. And in the early days, we were installing about one system every quarter, and now we're installing one system every single week. Um, and why wouldn't you? With um, wood pellets, it's the cheapest form of heating around, and you get paid by the government um, for heating with wood pellets. Most um, systems have a payback of about four to five years. Uh, if it's a domestic installation, you get payments for seven years in total, and if it's a commercial installation, you get paid for 20 years. Right, this is um, an MCZ um, Italian range of wood pellet boiler. Uh, they come in uh, 11, 15 and 22 kilowatt size, uh, which means you could um, have a system that may be suitable for say, a one or two bedroom property, right up to a four bedroom um, home. The um, pellets are put in here in the top. I've got an example here. This is um, Forever Fuels, but there are many different uh, companies out there you can buy your pellets from. You'd simply make a hole in the top of the bag and pour the pellets into the top here. This system will take about um, three to four bags, and in the middle of the heating season, uh, you could be looking to refill this with pellets every two to three days. And if it's in the summertime, then probably once a week or once a fortnight. You do need to do some cleaning with this system every now and then. Um, I would suggest that you do this um, once a week. You just need to open the door, come in here with a hoover, hoover up any of the ash that's here. And whilst you're in here, you want to make sure that the brazier plate is clean. So any um, pellets that have been left in there could be blocking the air holes. So you just simply clean those out. If the ash box is full, lift that out and put that in the garden. If it's just a small amount in there, just simply pick that up with a hoover. Make sure the door is sealed, because uh, if you try and fire the system up and the door's not closed, it will tell you and it won't run properly. The MCZ is a, um, a lower priced um, product on the market, and to help keep the cost down, it doesn't have the cleaning facilities built into it. But to show you how simple that is, all you need to do is when the boiler's turned off, hold down the clean function, the fan will start running. You've then got these two points here where you can clean the heat exchangers, so you just give those a quick shake, the ash will drop off, open the front door, get in here and hoover out any ash that's dropped down, close the door, once you're happy that everywhere else is clean, just simply turn off the cleaning function again. So we've just turned the boiler on, so this is all automatic with a wood pellet heating system. We can see what's happening. I just have to keep opening and closing the door. You'll see that uh, pellets are dropping through from the onboard hopper and they'll be gradually building up in, in the bottom uh, of the burner plate. There you can see more pellets coming through. A, a good base of pellets have now been built up and you can just start to see there's some smoke starting to show there. there. So the electric igniter is putting the heat into the bottom of those pellets and the air is now being introduced. Now we can see that, uh, oh, I've just put it out there, but as soon as I close the door, the flame will start. So we've got uh, a good base of pellets, loads of air in there now. And if I close the door, we'll see the, uh, the glow of fire. So this has all been done automatically. There's no uh, manual uh, lighting of these pellets. And that'll keep on feeding pellets into the top and it would just be gradually introducing more and more air. The important thing here is, is not to introduce too much air too early because that can also put the fire out, but the boiler, boiler knows what it's doing. So now we have the uh, initial flame. It's, only, it's still only a relatively um, small flame and that's still feeding more pellets through from the top and that's carefully controlling the amount of air that's going through to there. Again, it doesn't want to bring too much air through too quickly. This is quite a narrow um, flame body on this biomass boiler because we've had this in the showroom for um, a couple of years now 
the, the ones that we're installing nowadays have a wider flame. So it makes the flame less erratic, and it more kind of uh, a more smoother, more kind of like a, a natural fire. So now the, uh, the, the flame is kind of entering its um, second stage. So you can see that there's plenty of embers down there, so any pellets that are being introduced uh, are almost catching light immediately. Uh, the boiler uh, probably here is, is at about, it's got five phases that it can go through with its power, and I would imagine that we're probably about phase one. It's, it's got a flame stabilization has happened. Now we're moving into flame two. You can see there's a lot more power there. You can even feel a slight amount of heat coming off the front of this door.